I'm H. Tudor, and welcome to another episode of If I Ruled My World. And today, I am joined by not one, but two prospective leaders of nations, Stephanie and Nancy Sidley. So we're going in for a bit of twin trouble today. They've been handed the reins of power of a fledgling nation, and we're going to hear all about how they're going to rule those particular countries. So hello, Stephanie. Hello, Nancy. Hi, HD. Thanks for having us on your show. Thank you very much. Not at all. It's nice my pleasure. You to have you here. Very much looking forward to finding out about your countries and how you're going to lead them. Now, we're going to start with you, Stephanie, but Nancy's going to chip in where appropriate because, as we know, you can't keep both the twins quiet. So, <laughs> Stephanie, what's the name yeah. of your country? My country's name is Rockstella. Is that Frogstella or Rockstella? Rock Stella. Rock Stella. Okay. Tell me why it's called Rock Stella. Because my first dog's name was Rocky and my first cat's name was Stella. Okay. So we're going for a hybrid. And I had a feeling that there'd be a strong animal theme in relation to these <laughs> countries. So far, my anticipation has proven correct. Okay. Rock Stella it is. And what's its capital, Stephanie? It's accountable. It's accountable. Vill. Accountable. Vill. <laughs> accountable. Vill. Accountable. Vill. Yeah. Okay. Accountable bill. Bit of a mouthful, but yeah. I thought you were going to okay. say accountable. Bill. No. <laughs> I suppose you might go for accountability. Vill. That might be easier. Accountability. Yeah. yeah. Go for a quick name change. Yeah, I, I, I like that one better. <laughs> okay. And what's the thought process between Accountabilityville? Because I feel like everyone right now in America, during, especially during the election season, no one's accountable for what they say. They just kind of say things and they're lies and there's no transparency. So I really wish that my capital would be like all about accountability and your truth. So that's where I came up with your that. Your truth or the truth? The truth and my truth. <laughs> okay, the, tr the truth and the your truth, truth, truth at the same time. So a reminder of the good citizens of Rock Stella that accountability is most important and yes. uh, some, yes. yeah, that's going to be drilled into them. Okay, what's your seat of power? Oh, my seat of power is Secretary of Transportation. Because okay. I would love to oversee um, how people are getting places, and I'd like to see um, how people are keeping up with um, their their um, uh, neighborhoods and how they look and how yeah, I, I, I'm not so much an HOA, but I just want to see how they they keep their their yeah, yeah. yards together and all those things but also transportation because i think it's it's a big deal um you know even to vote you know you have you need a place to you you got to get on bus you got to you got to go here you got to go there or even with an animal you got to transport the animal here you got to transport the animal there even with our um uh police policing and ambulance you know it has to be a a fair way of getting back and forth just to save lives so i i okay. see myself as sec uh, secretary of transportation okay so you're going to have a dual role you're going to be leader of rock stella but also secretary of transportation yes yes okay might there be any thought given to rock stella creating a new form of transportation, perhaps? Is, are people going to get around on jet packs or fluffy I mean, little clouds? I, or? Yeah, I, I would hope that, that um, our technology is growing and it's progressing, and um, maybe one day we will. I would, I would love to see people outside their door getting on jet packs and, and just mm -hmm. going to the bodegas that way. Hoverboards. Um, hoverboards would be a mm. nice, you know, hoverboards wouldn't be a nice, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? Hoverboards would be a nice option, yeah. Um, yeah. but it's but also it's just I like to see uh, uh, progress as we go along. So yes, I would be invested in that kind of progress. Okay, and as Secretary of Transportation, what would be the P 
key aspect of that. Is it uh, something that gets you there quickly? Or is it something that has regard for the environment? Or is it something that looks good? What would be the overriding concern? Um, it would be um, something that um, is good for the environment. Mm -hmm. Also something that gets you there safely. safely. And something okay. that gets you there fast. But um, I would pick safely over anything uh, above all anything else. All. Um, so, so something that's safe. Okay. Yes. Right. Duly noted. What's your national anthem? Oh, I uh, <laughs> I I was thinking of the, of the song "Work" by RuPaul. Work. Work by RuPaul. Yeah. And do your thing on the runway. Work. Yeah. Work yes. <laughs> I don't know. I thought about that. HG is just the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> well, thank Thank you for that rendition as well. For anybody who wasn't familiar <laughs> with it, so you anticipated what I was going to ask you next to give me a quick blast of it. So that's worked rather well. And <laughs> when that national anthem is played, Stephanie, do we hear it on state occasions or is it being blasted from every corner? For, uh, is it only utilised when you're coming into town on a safe mode of fast <laughs> transport? When, when are we going to hear this national anthem? I'd say during um, sports events, mm -hmm. <laughs> sports events, and um, whenever I adopt and rescue another animal, that's when it would play. So a lot, so yeah, so a lot. So it's going to be going to be playing quite often then. I hope the so. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> now, what's your national dish? Oh, seafood stew. Seafood stew. Talk me yeah. through what's in seafood stew. Obviously seafood, but which types? Seafood stew it has tilapia. It has um, uh, it has salmon. It has um, shrimp. It has uh, mussels. Calamari. Mussels. It has mussels, clams, and it's in this very uh, rich white white ugh, white wine sauce. And um, with some garlic and some uh, thyme and uh, salt and pepper, and it's just the best dish. I love it. Presumably, presumably, Rock Stella has a coastline then. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh yes. Yes. Otherwise, so you'd very, have to be, if you were landlocked, you'd be importing a lot of this yes. stuff. Yes. Very vast one, just just like that place, Portland, Oregon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was I was wondering if this was a dish that was particularly uh, prolific in Portland, and they have given the answers. It, yeah, the dish it. isn't in Portland, Oregon, but in Rockstella, it is. <laughs> okay. Right. So seafood stew is eaten as the national dish as a consequence yes. of the extensive coastline where there's plenty of seafood delicacies that can be obtained. <laughs> now, this is the one that I'm particularly interested in. What's your national animal? Uh, my national animal is the rescue dog. The rescue dog. Okay, is that a particular breed that you'd have? No, it's a mutt. It could be any mutt. Okay, so... It has to be a rescue. It has to be a rescue dog, so more likely to be a mutt, a mongrel. Okay, yeah. and where would we see this national animal? W would it appear on the in, side in, of buildings? In, in my covers under my bed. <laughs> your covers under your bed. All right, okay. I get my cover. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, that's where oh, the. Oh, oh, HU. I mean, uh, HG, I made a um flag for you. Do you want me to send it to you? I, well, I do want to see it. If you are you able to put it up on the screen, or are you just going to email it to me? Okay. Can I just email it to you, and then you, you can, can email it to me, and I'll I'll I will show it. So why okay. don't you? You can send that to me, and I'll put, and I'll put it up so that everybody. Should can I do see that it. now? You email me afterwards. Talk me through it, okay. what it looks like. Yeah. Well, um, my flag says Roxella, and it has all different animals on the flag. What type of animals? Um, there's dogs, cats, turtles, giraffes. Um, there's bears, tigers, lions, all sorts. Now, there could be potential here for a di diplomatic incident. <laughs> I don't know if you have watched 
RHR Jen's country. I love Jen. Yeah, the, the giraffe yeah. featured together. prominently. Yeah, the giraffe featured prominently there. Oh. And I wonder if she might take exception to the giraffe appearing on your flag. Uh-oh. I'm I, shocked I, it wasn't a goose. I, I, she didn't have goose? Geese? No, she was she was very much going for the giraffe as part ah. of uh, as oh. part of her country. Off the top of my head, I think that was the national animal, uh, rather than it appearing necessarily on the I, flag. Jen, Jen and I are such good friends, though, um, that she she's one she's definitely uh, would understand. I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you think that there there wouldn't be any cause for a fight about this? No, no, yeah. absolute from Jen. No, it no. wouldn't be no, a okay. laugh about it. <laughs> All right then. Okay. So the Rockstella flag, which I have received and I will be showing people, is adorned with all the various animals in keeping with your love of those. <laughs> yeah. What's your national motto? My national motto is, hmm, 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 hmm. In dogs we trust. In dogs we trust. What about the, what if the cats feel a bit left That's out? That's just the national motto. Okay. It, it goes from there. It, 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 it you know, that's a, a prophetic, prophetic motto where, where it just, you can see it going places. So why, do <laughs> why dogs and not people? Um, cause I love dogs more than people. Okay. I'm sure the citizens of Rockstella will be delighted to hear that. They have no problem. They have it. no problem with it. I've never heard a peep out of them. They they <laughs> they love rescuing and they love each other. So. And if they okay. want those rations, they'll keep their mouths shut. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> ah, I see. The authoritarian government of that Nancy has Nancy. made an appearance. The that neighboring the neighboring nation is making its presence <laughs> felt. Well, we'll be getting to Nancy That's in due course. That's not true. That's not true. We we have very we have vast wealth to keep our our people. Ah, that's what they all said. Nancy, <laughs> twin fight. Okay, well, if we can try and maintain some harmony for the moment before you yes. start knocking lumps out of one another. <laughs> so, in dogs we trust. What's your national day going to be called? And on what date would it take place? My national day will be called Rescue Day. Mm -hmm. And that is the day after Christmas, because that's when puppies usually get dumped. They get people uh, give their children puppies for Christmas. And then the next day they go, wow, this is way too much work. And then the shelters take in all these animals because the family didn't want them anymore. So my national day is rescue day on uh, December 26th. Oh, that's certainly very logical. I remember in the United Kingdom, there was a campaign, a dog is for life, not just for Christmas, mm -hmm. which is obviously on the lines of what you're thinking. Is it is it the case that people dump dogs that quickly within a yes. day? Yes, yes. I've seen it done. I've had friends do it. They They're do not it. my friends anymore. And um, they do it just because they think it's fun to, to videotape it and put it online and get the views for that. But then the next day they dump them at the shelters. Is it, do you think some of it's just because it might be a gift for somebody and they didn't expect it or that it's not as, a nicer dog as they wanted or is it really about no this is too much like hard work so you know, does it matter is she <laughs> no i was just I, wondering what i, I appreciate I you don't asking. care as to what the reason is you don't like it but i was just wondering what the dominant reason was for why people do it i think it's too much work yeah too much, okay. work. Too much hard too much work looking after a little puppy or, yes. or dog or whatever it might be i understand yes. well that certainly seems logical to have a rescue day on the 26th of december now we're going to turn to some of your policies. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get, provide you with a range of options and you have to pick one. You have to pick one. You can't uh, avoid it and you can't make any caveats. You might attempt to do so, but uh, I'll deal with that. Now, first of all, let's have a, let's have a think about your foreign policy. So are you going to proceed on the basis of defending Rockstella alone? That's the only foreign policy you have, making sure that your nation is well defended. Or will you aid allied nations and defend Rockstella? Or will you go for a world policing role? Or are you going to be expansionist? 
So, for instance, it might be the case that you've had a historical spat with, well, I don't know, Nancy's country, and you decide, <laughs> actually, I'm going to take that strip of land back. Or might it be the case, are you going to go for recovering historical territories and resources? So if Nancy's country's got some oil that would be rather useful, or is it simply the nation's looked at you funny, you're going to invade them now? What's the policy? <laughs> Um, I I think I would be allies with the UK. Okay, so you'd basically aid allied nations and you would defend your own country. Yes. That would be the foreign policy. So no policing, no expansionist approach. <laughs> okay, uh, fair enough. No. Nuclear you missiles. Yeah. So <laughs> would, it be, would it be the case there'd be no nuclear missiles in Rock Stella? Would you have them just as a deterrent so you've got them, but you'll know you'll never use them, but you keep that quiet? I would keep them quiet. All right. So you don't want to hear the other choices. You've already decided. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know there were any other choices. Sorry. Uh, OK. Well, the other choice is you can use them in retaliation if someone uses nuclear weapons against you. Or your attitude just be, well, hell yeah, let's get nuking. Okay, if they used them towards me, I would use them back. Okay. Oh. And let's say they fire one nuclear missile at you, and you've got you've got a thousand in your arsenal. Are they getting the full thousand back? <laughs> um, that's a hard question. Okay, I'll make uh, it a bit easier for you then. Okay. Let's say they send one nuclear missile, which has a rescue dog strapped to it. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Yes, I would. I would. I would send them all back. Yes. Yes, I thought that would. Be the case. I thought that would clarify matters. Yeah, okay. that'll do it, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know me so well. I oh, love you. You know, people. that's right. You know, I found the trigger point there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. You yeah. found the, the weak. The weak spot. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Let's turn to the question of press freedom, Stephanie. Okay. Now, would there be no state interference? in rock stellar in relation to the press they can broadcast and write what they like or would you only interfere on the grounds of national security or would you interfere on the grounds of what your government deems sensitive and of course you can choose whatever that might be or would you own the media it would be state owned i let everybody do what they want i would just get free press no state free interference free. okay no, no. so so in the accountability bill bugle the editor writes we're hungry let's start eating dash hams they're allowed to write that yeah uh, they can yeah they, okay. okay as long as he they don't do it well yeah. as long yeah. as i look yeah they're, they're yeah they're allowed to say they're it. allowed to say it yes they're allowed to say it they're allowed to write it what about concerns about there being some people in Rockstella who they're not that bright and they might actually think no. that's a good idea? Well, then I would uh, send uh, uh, I would send help that way to maybe sh uh, and bring them pamphlets and maybe bring them some kind of <laughs> <laughs> try, try to try to uh, reprogram their minds. But but I would never take away anyone's freedom of speech. I'm I'm hard firm on that. Okay, really well, that's that's fair enough. I thought you might just send them some hot dogs, basically. To oh, yeah. Ah, yes. Ah, ah, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, mental yeah, institution. <laughs> okay. With Let's some turn to, so that's a very tolerant attitude. Let's see if this translates into religion as well. Mm. So with religious tolerance, is there complete freedom of worship and expression? Or there is freedom of worship, except if you're provocative to other people, that's not allowed. Or let's say Rockstella is, I don't know, a Christian nation, just by way of example. So it's only the Christian religion that's allowed, but others are secretly tolerated, or it's only the existing religion, and there's non-tolerance of anyone else's, and you persecute the unapproved religions, or is it simply, I'm Stephanie, and you worship me, remember? <laughs> Um, no, I the first one. First all, one. All, all religions. Complete are... freedom of worship and expression. Absolutely, absolutely. So once again, if somebody created a cult 
that would said it's good to throw your cat from the 17th floor of a building. They're allowed to have that freedom of okay, expression. But see, and that's, but, but see, I feel like, isn't that illegal? Illegal though? If you made the law illegal to throw your cat off the side of a building. So that if they, if any religion, Christianity or, or what this cat religion, HGCI, so I have to say no, you'd have to say so no, I'd have to, to, say anything, no illegal. to anything illegal. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so if I, can I make the the laws? You are the leader. You can make any law you like. Yeah, so I say that's illegal, and okay. um, no, he can't do that. Yeah, you can. No, they're still... not allowed to do that. I mean, you, no. you you could make it the law. Uh, everybody has to call their cat Tiddles and tickle their tummies three times a day. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> well, you see, it's your country. Okay. Yeah, I Let's... don't think they should do that. No. Okay. So freedom. Complete freedom of worship and expression, but obviously yes. you draw the line at illegality. Let's right. now consider equality. Is it the case that minorities are actively supported, protected, and they get positive discrimination? Or are minorities simply protected by anti-discrimination legislation? Or the attitude is, we promote ability, we're not here to fill quotas. Or minority issues are ignored. Or... Minorities are actively pers persecuted because at the end of the day, they're a pain in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say the first one. Yeah. That we're all, yeah, that, that uh, they can. So they're actively the supported. Butt. They're protected. Yeah. And even though Cletus is a complete doofus, you, you would still say, but because he comes from a minority, we're going to actively promote him to a position in a workplace. Yeah. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait. No, wait, what was the second one? The second one was minorities are protected by anti-discrimination legislation. Uh, but then I'm putting them in the box. I well, would boxes, like boxes are helpful for, to help you people make, understand. You make, your own, you make your own rules, so why don't you think of something that you want to do? I mean, I like the second one better, but I don't want to make them feel like they're anything other than uh, as like human a, beings. As human beings. Well, it's a, ma it's a matter of statistics, isn't it? You're not saying that they're subhuman. For instance, if they're a people Am that I come from a different... Them? Well, if they come from a different nation, and there's, let's say your country has a population of 100 million, and you've got 100,000 who've come from, I don't know, um, Britannica, okay? They are a minority in your country. That doesn't mean you're not saying they're human. Yeah, right. But so either, would somebody from Britannica be given positive discrimination, i.e. you try and get them into more jobs even if they weren't particularly qualified for it, or would you just simply say, you're not allowed to be prejudicial towards people from Britannica? Ooh, you're getting harder and harder. Um... I beg your pardon. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, <laughs> so the, the actress said to the bishop. Yeah. Um, I. Uh, oh, man. OK, I'm going to go with the second one. Maybe second. I'll be wrong. OK, so anti-discrimination legislation. Yeah. OK, now, thank you for those. We're now going to turn to the question of your short form cabinet. Oh, yeah. So we can't go through every single position as that would take a particularly long <laughs> period of time. So we've picked, I've selected five. Who would be your defense chief? Kirk Sidley, my dad. Okay, so why is Papa Sidley in that position? Because he has always defended me and protected me my entire life, and I would not, and I would want him to protect my, my uh, uh, play, is it? Is it a universe? Not a universe. No, it's uh, a country. country. Sorry. I would want him to protect my country the way he protected me when I was a little girl and even as I grow up because he is the best guy I've ever met and the smartest. Well, if I had a wholesomeometer, it would have just gone up several notches at that. And <laughs> I should imagine people are saying that they're getting the warm fuzzies in the fields as a consequence of that. <laughs> so Kirk Sidley is appointed defense chief. Who's your foreign secretary? My foreign secretary is my Uncle Phil because he knows how to speak five languages. He also mm -hmm. um, is a teacher and he travels around the world um, all every year. And he is very charismatic and very social and very liberal. Okay. 
So there's certainly credentials there to support somebody in that position. Who's your chief scientific officer? My chief scientific officer is my cousin Mara because she teaches science mm -hmm. <laughs> at her school. She's a very good teacher and um, she always um, um, helps people out when they don't understand. And she also um, is very uh, um, diplomatic. Diplomatic. Mm -hmm. OK, who's going to be holding the purse strings? Who's your Treasury Secretary? My mom, Shirley Sidley. My mom has been my dad. My dad started a business when he was young and my mom became the bookkeeper. Then she became his accountant. She manages all She manages money. all the money in the in the household and in even, even my, ours. Even ours. And mm -hmm. she does not cheat anyone. She she is a wonderful how, lady. How do you know she doesn't cheat anybody? Do you, do you have, <laughs> I her, do you have yeah. her audited? I know for a fact. We're all living large She's, and in yeah, charge. No <laughs> audits here. No audits here. No, <laughs> but no um, she she she's a wonderful lady and she's always fair with money and in life so okay and um does she does she give you pocket money still <laughs> she, we have a trust oh, oh, oh i see got a trust fair enough finally who's your minister for fun nancy Nancy's I was just, I was wondering if Nancy would have a role. I was okay. if I was in there at all. I was like, oh, my sister is my ministry for fun. Oh, funny. she's so much fun. I love her so much. And it, not, every day goes by, I always wake up and I, I get excited because I'm like, I'm with Nancy today. So well, you did you have a uh, wine for breakfast? You're just in such a good little mood. Oh, I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> she, I have one. I, like, I'm wondering if I'm wondering if Nancy's now scribbling and changing one of her answers, saying, "Oh, I I oh no, nope. <laughs> no, no I, I better I find a role, Stephanie." Same thing. No. I was like, "Oh God, now I got to okay. say something about Stephanie." No, Nancy would be my ministry of fun. She's fun all the time, and I love her. Well, there we are. That's very flattering and complimentary. Very nice. Now, the Daily Record, which is the main newspaper of Rock Stella is labeling uh, accusations of huge amounts of nepotism in this government. <laughs> how, how do you answer that, le leader of Rockstella? How would I answer that? I'd be, yeah. you know what, I only pick the people that are, are the best qualified to do it. I just happen I've, to be members of your family. They just happen to be members. It's, it's, it's just a coincidence. Absolutely. Nobody could suggest anything to the contrary. No, so, uh, they just happen to have Sidley as one of their names. Yeah, yeah because you know um, our capital is account accountability or accountableville. <laughs> accountableville. No that sounds why. too much like a cannibal. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cannibal. A ca accountableville. <laughs> is Uncle yeah. Phil on your dad's side or your mum's side? My mom's side. Okay, so he won't be called Sidley then. No, no, he's oh. Bonfili Bonfilio. Bonfilio. My mom's Sicilian. Ah, OK. So we've got all the Sidleys. So do you think that there will be familial harmony amongst this cabinet, that there'll be no falling out over somebody getting more pocket money than Hell the other? No. Oh, we're Italian. Oh, They'll be no. falling out all the time. <laughs> Have you met ah. Italians? <laughs> OK. No way. There's a, listen, we're loyal, but we fight. <laughs> OK. OK. Good fight. <laughs> Good fight. Good fight. You kiss and makeup at the end. Exactly. You're all made to laugh by the minister for fun. That's <laughs> yes. Now, I think you've already answered this, but for the sake of certainty, you mentioned earlier that you'd be allies with the United Kingdom. Would the United Kingdom be your major ally, or would you be thinking of somebody else? Mm, no, they'd be my major. Yep. Okay. Why is that? I just I, I've been there so many times and I have some family that lives there and and um, I I just think they're great people, mm -hmm. you know, from my from my own experience, you know, I'm not just looking at a map going, oh, they'd be great. You know, it's just I just I feel like they're really good people and they're positive and um, I like King Charles mm -hmm. and I feel like he's a very loyal person and um I, I worship Prince William and Princess Catherine, so uh, I think they're great. Mm. There's a new ambassador being appointed for the United Kingdom 
to rock Stella. He's called Prince Harry. <laughs> Will he be getting a warm welcome? What, what is this uh, after the divorce? They're currently not on speaking terms and okay. Harry has moved out and he's he's created his own new chicken coop. OK, OK. If he has done all that and he's getting the therapy that he needs, then yes, I will welcome him with open arms. OK. Would Rock Stella gift him a rescue dog? Absolutely. We have plenty <laughs> to give. Yeah. What breed would you give him? I would give him a rescue black lab. Yeah. What about a poodle? Because that's what he's used to being. <laughs> a chihuahua. A chihuahua, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little yappy, little yappy no, chihuahua. I, I give him something that he can walk around and play on the beach with and, and keep his mind busy. Mm -hmm. I would I would want to make him happy. If he's coming back to, to, to get help, then absolutely I'd give him something that would be his best friend. Sure. Okay. Okay. Which country would be your main enemy? My main enemy would probably be Russia. Okay, why is that? Man, I just don't like their politics. I really don't like the uh, way they treat um, our LGBTQ people. I really hate the way that um, being gay is looked upon as um, a sin. Uh, they, they. Um, There's a lot of countries then that you're not. Okay, I'm telling one. Okay, I'm telling one. And I don't like, you know, yes, I Nancy, just be I, quiet. No, I'm I'm sorry. Shut up. <laughs> um, no, I just don't like the way they treat uh, gay people. The uh, the fact that they lock them up in jail and and I just I don't dig it, man. You know, I'm a very liberated woman, so uh, that that would definitely be my my. Uh, yeah, bad vibes Achilles coming out. Achilles heel. Achilles okay. heel. Would there be any particular group that is not welcome in Rock Stella? Oh, there's two. Okay. There's um, Proud Boys and um, anti. What are what are they called? The fascist, fascists. Antifa. Oh, oh, Antifa. Antifa. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Proud Boys and Antifa will not be allowed in my in my country. Okay, so that's because you'd view them as disruptive. I, I know they are disrupted because I, I yeah before uh, before Rock Stella I lived in Portland Oregon and they were extremely disruptive and they they tore our city apart and it was very 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 damaging so uh, yeah those are the two people I would keep out yeah okay now we're going to turn to your five foundation policies these are the things which really make a mark on the nation of Rock Stella that give you the opportunity to flex your leadership must be yeah. so Stephanie what's the first policy uh my first policy uh because I you know I haven't had kids yet but I might my first policy would be um climate and the environment is trying to clean clean that stuff up for for so, so, the future so, of my children yeah so uh protecting the environment yes okay so uh, oh yeah, so that that's quite a broad policy. So, what what are you what are you thinking in terms of? I'm thinking um, the oceans, cleaning up the oceans, maybe like doing doing some things. Uh, having maybe hooking up with Prince William. Well, Prince William. Yeah. There, Nancy wants me to hook up with Prince William. Yeah, that might be it. Um, no, but just but just maybe having instead of uh, field trips to to the zoo. Maybe field trips to oceans where we can uh, have the kids maybe help clean up uh, the the garbage that's going on. There's some there's some beaches out there um, in you know we live for 40 minutes away from beach and a uh, seaside and we already we're seeing all this garbage coming up already and um, maybe just take the kids there and clean up that and, and instead of you know the dumb field trips they're they're doing now <laughs> so okay so climate and environment and uh, an emphasis on cleaning up the oceans yeah what's your second policy man my second one is uh giving rights to the voiceless and the voiceless i mean um animals like oh like circuses need to be banned mm -hmm. zoos 
are not helping people. They are not a good way of stop reading my thing. Oh, you got it on there too. Voice for the voiceless in zoos. Okay. <laughs> she's so funny. She I'm thought like, she's reading my thing. <laughs> um, no, I would definitely, I would definitely, um, I would take away zoos. Zoos, you know, a lot of people say zoos for learning. It's for le teaching children. No, it's not because there's sanctuaries out there that these kids could go to and they can actually get an education. They don't need to go and see lions and tigers behind bars and only having, you know, uh, a, this much room to walk, <laughs> walk back and forth. You know, yeah, that kind of stuff bugs me. So I would really, really emphasis on rights for the voiceless, and that is animals. Okay. Well, that's certainly very much in keeping with your overall ethos. What's policy three? <laughs> um, my, po oh, um, oh, drugs and, dr oh, drugs. The fentanyl uh, stuff that's going on in, in where I used to live in Portland, um, the fentanyl crisis is out of control. I went to uh, my facialist the other day who, who's in Northeast Portland and I get up there and I couldn't open the door and they just put on this locking device. And I said, you have to ring a doorbell now. And I said, what's going on here? And she goes, we just can't let everyone in and out because they're they're high out of their minds. They come in and they wanna steal something. And it's just so sad to watch these people. And it's like, I really, I wanna help some somehow. I don't know how right now because I'm, I'm just getting into it. I'm just, kind of finding my my way into that to that universe that world but i really want to do something about the drugs and the crimes that are going on and um com combat it really that's fair enough and how would you combat it are you going to make possession distribution illegal yeah i mean i would i would i would i would <sighs> I would, I would, I would have stricter laws on controlled sub substances. Mm -hmm. um, it would have to go through a doctor. Any, if if you need fentanyl and that's something that you need to have, or or any kind of uh, um, ketamine or any kind of drug like that, it would have to go through a doctor. The this stuff out the we got to crack down on these people making it in their garages and then distributing it so out. So you mean tough, tougher laws on the people that make it? Those yeah. are the people that you have to crack down because it's already illegal. You're saying no, not not no, ketamine and and fentanyl is not illegal to to. It's illegal to make in your bathtub. That's what I just said. Yeah, that's what I meant. You got to cut yeah, down on the people making. Yeah, that's what I just said. I said bathtub. I said the people that are going to the the um people that are d d uh, making it in their garages that needs to get cut down. We need to have stricter laws on drugs. Yeah. So. Sorry, HD. Nancy got involved in that one. <laughs> have to apologize to me if you two want to have a little argument that's quite all right uh, let, let us just suggest however that already there are laws that are saying that in, in other countries that for instance explain that um, these th these things are illegal and yet it's not discouraging people from creating it but tougher laws do you think that will really discourage people what about going the other way and saying, hey, look, we'll decriminalize it, but we'll regulate it so that we have the means of production and we'll channel the money into helping people who've got an addiction instead? Well, we tried doing that in Portland already. We yeah, we um, decriminalized uh, heroin, cocaine, all the big drugs. Meth. And yep. it lasted for about two years, and then we had to yeah. recriminalize it, it again didn't work. because it was such an epic failure. I mean, things got worse here. So I don't. I mean, I mean, it's it, it's a hard question to answer. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just part of my. Uh, if I had a policy, I would definitely dig deep into this and ask many people, like you know, people that are in this industry and just go, help me, help me try to find a solution. I would definitely do that. Cause that, yeah. that is so you, So in fairness, you, you want to address the problem and you yeah. will take advice as to what would be the most effective way of doing so. Yes, yes. That's fair enough. What's policy number four? Um, b -b 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 oh, uh, keeping freedom of speech safe. Hmm? 
keeping our freedom of speech. I, I've been seeing this uh, as as time goes by, especially with uh, Meghan and Harry now, and uh, even with Kamala a little bit, is that they're trying to suppress our freedom of speech. I, um, there was a, a guy yesterday who put a big uh, expose out on, on Kim Kardashian about how she was one of the uh, people that were involved in the Diddy partying, the mm -hmm. Diddy. The, she was getting collateral. She was people. getting collateral from people like Justin Bieber. The, and this is a friend of mine on, on, on uh, X. And he then had to take down the video because her Kim Kardashian's lawyer sent him a cease and desist. For him telling his his own his opinion on this. Yeah. And I'm getting sick of that. You know, especially now we're at election season and, and the and Diddy got arrested. I've got stories. Trust me, I got tons of stories on Diddy. I'm not gonna be quiet about them. So I get scared sometimes about uh the, these people trying to take it away. And Meghan Markle wanting um to take away uh the the uh um, articles that have been brought out about her in, you know, the, uh, what was it, Daily, or not Daily, it was a Hollywood, Hollywood reporter. reporter, and um, she wants that to go away, uh, you know, she, uh, she, she can't sue, because there's, there's, there's truth behind it, but, um, but, uh, yeah, just keeping people's freedom of speech safe, that is my, okay. my main. And your final policy, please. Oh gosh, women's reproduction, I can't talk. Women's reproduction rights stay safe and available. Yeah, obviously. Okay, what 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 does that look like? That looks like I, oh, I he's going to get you on the months. Yeah, on the months? Yeah. Are you going to talk about me on like like what does it look like 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 can a can a baby be aborted at 9 months? No, I, I want to know what you mean by protecting women's reproduction rights, because that's a rather expansive title you've given She's me. She's talking there. about abortion. Abortion. Okay. Um, but yeah, he knew that. He's not. No, no, it's it's vague. I, I know he it. knew that. He's not. You really underestimate how hot and smart not, he is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just really, I, I feel very, very uh, sad when I have to hear stories about women who are in Arkansas and they have to uh, spend money on a plane ticket to fly somewhere else to get the abortion. And um, even then it might not might not have, have, have gone through and then she has to fly back and do it again. It, it, it's a lot, you know, I mean, I really, you know, Living in Portland is is like a bubble. Living in LA, like Nancy and I, living in LA and living in Portland is like a bubble. We are very, 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 very yeah. secure yeah. with what we do. And it's like, we don't have any problems here, but the, we have to remember the people in Oklahoma, you know? And um, the, that's the kind of people that I'm fighting for right now. And I just, I, I really, I, I feel so bad for those women and I really I would do anything to I would I would start I would start a foundation for them. I would really would Nancy and I were talking about this last year when Roe v Roe v about, Babe, yeah. Roe v Wade uh got overturned and yeah. uh, we we're talking so about looking, this is about you'd your, be looking to enshrine the right to choose yes. for the women in Rockstar. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's, yeah, perfectly entitled to do that as leader. So that would be the fifth and final foundation policy that you have. Stephanie, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, some of which... Thanks for indulging me. I kind of talked to her. Not at all. And some of them particularly impassioned. So, viewers, there you have Rock Stella, the capital which sometimes is called Accountableville and then occasionally <laughs> Accountabilityville. <laughs> where people are getting their groove to work by RuPaul and then going off to chow down on a delicious seafood stew. The dog is particularly revered in this country where freedom of speech is not only enshrined as a foundation policy, but is an absolute freedom with no press interference. You can worship who you want and minorities are protected by anti-discrimination legislation. 
Rescue Day takes place on the 26th of December, Boxing Day as we Brits call it, and the government consists of nearly every single member of the Sidley family that can be identified and shoehorned into these roles, which is going to lead to some Italian passionate debating, but also the kissing and making up. Russia is the enemy and the UK is the ally. There are interesting and sensible policies, it would appear, in relation to giving rights to the voiceless and the preservation, freedom of speech, the right to choose. Is this a country that you can identify with, viewers? Do you think this sounds like a utopia to me? Or are you thinking, I probably would live there, but I might make one or two changes. For instance, I might like a capital that was easier to say. Or would you think, no, this isn't for me. I'd rather move elsewhere. <laughs> well, you're going to be able to vote and you can do so in the community section. But for now, Stephanie, thank you very much for sharing your vision. Thank you. <laughs>